So we've heard about the epidemics and pandemics. Now PCOS is the newest gynecological epidemic. I am Dr. Anjali Kumar. I'm a gynecologist and obstetrician and technically I'm a gyne endoscopic surgeon. I'm a high-risk pregnancy specialist and I have been in this field of gynecology for more than 30 years now. So it is so strange that 30 years back nobody heard about it. When I was doing my post-graduation there was barely a mention of PCOS in our books. 20 years back, we started seeing a lot of women and we were wondering what's happening. And today in my OPD alone, I see almost 10 new patients of PCOS every day. So that is the magnitude of the problem. Today, according to the latest statistics, one in three to five women, depending upon the geographical location, suffers from PCOS. So that's high is the magnitude. So for all the viewers who are watching, number one, PCO, PCOD and PCOS is one and the same thing. It's just a different nomenclature of the same problem. So PCO stands for polycystic ovary or polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome. This is basically a condition where the ovary is studded with small, small, tiny, tiny cysts which are producing abnormal hormones which lead to problems like irregular periods, weight gain, a uh, lot of hair on the body, acne, scalp hair fall, uh, infertility, inability to go gain, uh, sorry, lose weight. And all these symptoms are very, very disturbing to any woman. No woman likes to be fat. No woman likes to have hair at wrong places. No woman likes to lose hair from the scalp. This is something which is bothering every woman. Now, uh, what causes PCOS? Now, this is a new gynecological lifestyle disease. Like I said, 30 years back, we probably never saw this uh, problem. Even till today, women from the lower strata of society, women in the villages, hardly have PCOD. So that means there is something which is going wrong in the lives of modern women. You know, probably the wrong kind of food, probably the sedentary lifestyle, overexposure to the screen, sitting all the time and in front of the laptops, a lot of stresses and worries which come hand in hand with the modern lifestyle is probably the reason. And, uh, you know, people generally ask me, ma'am, is it uh, sort of, you know, is it possible to treat PCOD? And I tell this to everyone. Yes, it is possible to treat PCOD. See, we, we need to understand why does, let's say, a poor woman does not get PCOD? What is it which is right in her lifestyle? What is it which was right in the lifestyle of our grandmoms? And if we are able to look that way, yes, we will be able to treat it. You know, it's something like weight gain. Can you say that weight gain, if I do this, can you completely cure it? Yes, of course. We need to be following that lifestyle. You know, we need to be always mindful of what we eat and exercise. Then only we'll be able to manage the weight gain forever in our lifestyle. Now the same goes for the PCOD also. Let's say if you managed it with the lifestyle changes and a little bit of medication support and you're okay now. But if after one year you go back to the same wrong lifestyle, of course the PCOD will come back. So like I said, it's a lifestyle problem. If you learn to take the lifestyle modification in the right way, yes, of course, you can manage it, you can treat it. We've had so many patients where we've been, we've been able to reverse the PCOD. So I truly believe if you handle the root cause, yes, of course, you can tackle it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.